We begin at 5.30 with a deadly discovery on Detroit's west side. Glad you're with us today. I'm Devin Skillian. And I'm Kimberly Gill. The man's body was discovered in the backyard of a home on Montrose Street. That's not too far from the intersection of Greenfield and Grand River. Victor Williams is on this story for us tonight. Victor, um, so what are police telling you so far about this? Yeah, Kimberly, Devin, they have just identified the deceased victim as a man in his 20s that was found in the backyard of one of these homes. Investigators are now trying their best to get to the bottom of all of it. It's tragic to say it because it's, it's like I know how I feel to lose somebody, you know, and I don't know who they were. But I know they, they had to mean something. Police are investigating a shooting on Montrose Street that left one man dead and another one injured with a graze wound Thursday morning. It's kind of weird, though, that that happened like that because we the whole house was up and, you know, and, and it really didn't hear nothing. Police got the call around 830 a.m. Once officers made it to the scene, they quickly realized another person had been grazed by a bullet the next block over. The Detroit Police Department is now searching for the person who pulled the trigger. Detectives are working hard, talking to everyone they can and looking for all the evidence that they can, all the information they can, and they're working really hard to track down this whoever is responsible for this crime. Of course, the entire incident remains under investigation, but neighbors insist things like this are nothing new. And stuff like this happens all the time for real. It'll be really like sometimes it be, you get used to it, seeing the stuff out on the block and all that. So it just be crazy try to change the environment. Now, we are in the very early stages of the investigation, but we'll keep you guys updated with any new information as it becomes available. Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor, thank you.